Butler's here, brought to you by Pet Pals TV. And, of course, we have KJ McLennan, our kitty correspondent, along with Grayson, our favorite feline correspondent as well. <laughs> so you guys are here answering some kitty questions that people have, right? Yes, yes. A lot of uh, common questions, and I'm always up for bringing Grayson in and helping people learn more about their cat. Yeah, I love it, too, because I have a cat, so I always oh, want to know. Oh, that's a tease. There's a picture. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's breaking news. Stay right yes. Okay. Yes, Hannah has a superstar cat. <laughs> okay, so let's get to the first question. Yes. We could probably put him down here if you want to. All right. Um, okay, so Becky asks, is catnip good for my cat? That is they an excellent question. It. You know what? And not all cats do go crazy, but about 60% of them will respond mm -hmm. in a, like, super happy. I think we've <laughs> all seen the catnip freak out. But what a lot of people don't know is catnip is actually good for their health. Oh, good. Um, oh, it's, I didn't know that. They actually eat it because it helps them digest. So, uh, um, like grass type thing? Yes. You, okay. can, you can grow the grass Perfect. and they can chew on it, or even if you put it out, some cats just roll. But if the cat eats it, it is okay uh, to, to feed them catnip. Right. Oh, my goodness. Uh -oh. Okay, well, all right. He does not want you to have a superstar uh, cat. He is your superstar cat. Well, it's so funny you mentioned that with the catnip. Scott Sander was telling me that he actually got a catnip stick that his cat just went crazy for. Yes. But then my cat's not that into it. So yeah. It just depends. If they are, it is good for them, and it does mm -hmm. serve that extra little uh, digestive perk. Good to know. My cat does love to drink out of a sink. Mm -hmm. um, Jolene says, how do I keep my cat from drinking from the sink? <laughs> uh, best way to do that is to actually get them a water fountain. They oh. have fountains just for cats. And I just saw this. I have it ordered. Uh, it's a USB charged water fountain for cats so you can yeah. literally put it anywhere that it needs to be without oh, that right. cool. without the worry of them wanting to play with the cord because yeah. that's a big you that's know big, issue but i have timber buttons. in the morning he goes into the bathroom and he stands there until i turn yes. so he's got me trained to do that oh well, yes yeah that's mine's good idea. not at that level but if we go on vacation i leave the sink running and it's like his favorite way to yeah, drink yeah. water yes absolutely so you know place they can get water too but we won't well i know mine does <laughs> go to the toilet <laughs> happens. It, it does. We don't talk about that, yeah, do we, Grace? Like, <laughs> uh, okay, Peter, I recently found a kitten and plan on keeping her. How soon should I get her fixed? Oh, right God. now, Peter. Do it. <laughs> right no, now. No. Uh, kittens can have kittens as early as four months old. Wow. Uh, four um, months I, of age. I actually was working with a, a client this week who has a seven-month-old boy and girl, and she's afraid that because she didn't get them fixed. They oh, started no. doing things, and it's like, yeah, you got to get those kittens fixed. Oh, no. uh, most shelters, if you're adopting from a rescue yeah. or shelter, they're going to have them fixed beforehand. But if you get one free to a good home, find mm -hmm. a kitten, immediately it should be the first thing that you do. And they can have big litters, too. Big yeah. litters. Yes, they and, can. And, yeah, and I have heard that the feral cats, simply because of the nature of you know their existence, mm -hmm. they uh, reproduce even they, quicker oh. than, than some of the breeds absolutely you know, so yes that's why we have so many feral cat problems. about 80 percent of our kittens that end up in shelters have come from an outdoor cat mm. which is why our tnr programs are so important but if you get a cat and it is not fixed that is the first thing you want right, to do right. yeah uh, not only to not have more babies but also you don't want to have a, a female in your house in heat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah no <laughs> It yeah. is good for both of you to get your cat fixed. Yeah, you know, and, and two, if you adopt, luckily they will do it for you. Yeah, right. it. so it's yeah. a great all around when it comes to cats. Um, Grayson, he's being a superstar. He loves oh, it. You guys are color coordinated. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my um, goodness. So my cat Simba's going to be jealous, but Patty wanted to share. Yes. <laughs> We he's snapped this shot. Or? Yeah, he's wearing some. So we got these sunglasses for my daughter for Florida. We're going to go in February. And she uh, put them on Simba. Simba is very tolerant. Oh, look. Um, clearly. I, in the sunshine. That was the yesterday. first question I was going to ask when I saw this on Facebook. How long did he actually let you <laughs> keep those glasses? He kind of just froze there. He's very tolerant. Oh. Because, you know, we have a one-and-a-half-year-old in the house that is constantly going up and tugging on him, pulling on his tail and oh, stuff. Yeah. So he's an easygoing guy. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it, it was a lot of fun. My, my daughter put them on. I'm like, take the picture. Yes, <laughs> and, absolutely. And you know that I told you 90% uh, of uh, ginger cats are 
male. Yes. And I had that? no idea. Yep. Yes, yes. If yeah. you do come across a, a female, it's very rare. Are you rare. okay? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> do you need I'm good. I'm going to hand off. Hand off Watch the out. Grayson. Pause. There we go. I'm good. All right. Oh, very I'm good. I'm our kitty expert. Yay. Look at that. Oh. So good. Uh, if you do have questions, please go to PetPalsTV.com and submit your questions. We love making sure that people get the answers that they are wondering to any cat question. There are no silly Wonderful. Cat Thanks questions. for coming on, guys. Of course, Thank Pet you. Pals TV every Saturday at 1030 right here on Wish TV. You can also go to PetPalsTV.com. And then uh, Great Day TV right before it. <laughs> and then a little meow from Grayson. So thanks, guys.